2022 budget, Buhari and the Sibanja to spend 508 million naira on food as hunger bites Nigeria. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Amid their hunger necessitated by food price inflation in Nigeria, the President Mohamed Buhari regime has proposed to spend an alarming 508 million on food and kitchen supplies for the state house in 2022. A copy of the 2023 appropriation bill seen by People's Gaza shows that 301 billion 138 million 860,000 has been proposed for food for foodstuff catering supplies. Another 30 million 652,500 naira will go for refreshments and meals. These figures are supposed to take care of feeding and Mr. Buhari's wing of the house of the state house. For the vice president, Yemi Osibanjo, 156 million 602,400 naira is proposed for food, for foodstuff and catering supplies, and another 20 million 264,394 naira for meals and refreshments. This comes amidst a hike in food prices across the country and plans by Buhari's regime to borrow to finance the 6.258 trillion naira deficit in the proposed 2022 budget. In his Independence Day celebration speech, Mr. Buhari admitted that there is food price hike under his watch, blaming it on middlemen's drive for excess profit. The Gazette in the market survey had reported a bag of beans that formerly sold for 30,000, now selling for 100,000, while cooking gas that was 35, now sold for 8,000. According to the Nigerian Domestic and Foreign Debt Report, published this year by the National Bureau of Statistics, NBS, the country's total public debt under Mosta Bihari's watch as of September 2020 stood at 32.2 trillion naira, approximately $8.47 billion. Spending this huge amount of money when a lot Spending it on just food, not just spending it on, spending it on food. Eh? Drafting out a budget for just stomach infrastructure. Why a lot of Nigerians are hungry? No. A lot of Nigerians are being killed on a daily basis. The ones that are not being killed by terrorists or by the fact that they are in places they are not supposed to be because of these insecurity issues. The ones that are ones that are being killed by hunger and starvation. And this whooping amount is being drafted that it will take care of only stomach and catering catering services, I beg your pardon. This is so huge. It is huge. Like so huge. Why? Why this amount of money on such? We're not even talking about it is so wrong, so very wrong. We have millions of Nigerian citizens, most especially those in the northern region, who are starving. They are starving. I'm not saying these people should starve, but I'm saying spending such money on just food, it is too much. There are lots of things to be done. People are dying every day. Every day on a daily basis. Then this such money is being used for just feeding alone. When there's so much this money can do. So much. They should cut it down. It is rather too much. We are not saying they should starve. Of course they are going to eat. But definitely not eating. Not eat, Not having this kind of. Have this kind of money in the bag for just feeding alone. My goodness, it is too, too, it is way too much. There are people who cannot fend for themselves one square meal. They cannot. No matter how they, work, how they work from dusk to dawn, they will not be able to give themselves one spare meal, one good spare meal. And here is this whooping sum of money. How much again? How much again? This whooping sum of 500 Eight million. My goodness. 
as money for just feeding. This one is not for hospital allowance. This is not for no, just feeding. We have people that die every day out of starvation. It is even getting worse now because today you go to the market as a common man to get a cup of gari in the market. It is this particular amount and next time you're going it has doubled the price or it's almost doubled the price. And you keep asking yourself what is going on. And all these things are going on. There is no increase in salary. And in fact, the one you've worked for, it has not been given to you. You've not been paid. And the hike of prices of food keep going up. Not just food, almost everything. The hike the high of in price it affected everything. You're getting food. It is expensive. Your daughter or son falls sick. It is expensive. Or you yourself fall sick. It is expensive. Like living is now so difficult. And this huge sum of money is spent on food. Just feeding. I keep saying, how many people? How many people is this estimated for? How many? Are they up to one community? What is really going on? the legislative people they should look into this particular issue this is a lot i mean if anybody is eating this much and you know they are working for it yeah then no problem you cannot not be working oh my goodness i don't even know how to even justify it even if you're working for it there is another that says if you get riches and you waste it then at the end of the day you are doing yourself you don't gather well to use it on waste it on just food exactly. To just on just food alone. It is too way too much. There are a lot of things that need to be done and now and fast in this our present Nigeria. There is a lot of things that needs to be done. Insecurity, which is the topmost, is there. Then arms and ammunition, making sure that even as you're sending soldiers to, to, to go and fight and represent you. They are well taken care of, both by ammunition and them and their salary and their remuneration at the end of the day. Now, okay, if that one is aside, now you're even saying you're going to borrow, borrowing money, <laughs> ah, goodness, borrowing money or funds to make sure that you have enough for just feeding. Meanwhile, there is already enough on your plate. Please, we should learn how to use our, our resources judiciously. We should utilize the resources in this country. I think management is the problem here. Of course, management has been the problem from here, but now it is glaring. It is saddening. And if we do not learn how to use the little we have judiciously, it is going to be a problem. We'll keep borrowing and borrowing and borrowing. It is sad. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. And please, once again, please subscribe to our channel if you have not. Have a great day ahead.